Hello everybody and welcome to a new slash old Super Metroid hack. And I should go back just to not skip to that. This is redesign. Except it's the Axial Edition. For those who are unaware, Axial is actually a username of somebody and he played redesign at one point and it took him something like 70 hours to beat. So yeah, that may be a slight exaggeration, but not much. It. I watched um, some of the videos of him playing and my goodness. So yeah, because of that, Drew reworked, redone, redesigned. Um, I am sort of unsure about this. On the one hand, making it easier for players, that's probably a good thing. Um, I do know the physics have been altered slightly, but they're still redesigned physics, so that's like, eh. Already a sour point on the hack and I haven't even started playing. And there's still series in here because, you know... 2015 why not but yeah um I've seen a lot of things about this hack and IRC I know some things um we'll see like one of my concerns with this hack was that you know with the original redesign I played it multiple times First off, the first time I played it, then I recorded it, and then I raced it a few times. That's because I have no life, but... But from my, my understanding, I don't think that there's actual speedrun stuff in this hack. I believe that Drew has removed every sort of speedrunning thing, which... I have no idea why you would do that. That just... Like, that's the only reason I went back and played Redesign. Was because, oh hey, can race it. Being it faster might be... Not my enjoyment that, but... Also, yes, yeah, Redesign Physics. Forgot how much I love these things. Something with the physics, however, is instead of, like, I guess the major improvement, instead of, oh, <laughs> yeah, this is also a thing, arm pumping. I saw this in IRC. It slows you down now, and that is just so stupid. I'm sorry, but that is just absolutely stupid. But, yeah, the, uh thing with the physics is they no longer or after your jump and you're done jumping it's no longer you're instantly at your max fall speed there's kind of a build up to it and I guess that's what's going to be like the big difference also I do want to mention Ridley I am fighting Ridley in series why would I do this because this is actually a really neat thing like there's some things in IRC a most of the things I saw were like horrible and I like what one of the cool things is by attacking Ridley on series you're actually weakening him when you fight him later in the game so that is something that is actually really cool and it kind of provides a payoff for doing that I guess you know something you're doing right at the beginning in an otherwise useless area now has a an effect for later in the game so also do keep in mind it also increases his attack power so that is the thing as of right now version 1.4 is released when I finally get our cutter on the plane this I'm doing this now this is not 1.4. I am doing an earlier version. This is 1.2 or 1.1. I don't remember what I patched. 
I downloaded 1.0, saw an update. It was either 1.1 or 1.2 at that point. I grabbed that, patched that. I'm not updating again because... Oh, hey. There's, that's the uh, title card people have been talking about. Interesting. That's kind of cool. But I'm playing the older version because... This is... Hint thing. Oh, hey. Interesting. Very interesting. I, I like that. And especially for new players of redesign who haven't played the heck before, that thing will probably... Well, maybe help out. But, yeah. The reason I am not doing the newer version is because I hear there's thing over there. There's all kinds of fun stuff later, which I'm probably going to regret, but whatever. It's redesigned, so I'll regret it anyway. So something I'm going to try to do mostly is follow like the intended route just to kind of see, you know, is this actually easier or whatever? Like, what improvements are there over the original redesign? I'll say right off the start, the hint system would have been a huge thing in the original redesign. Just because this hack is so large, you know, kind of knowing where you're going, or at least kind of getting a general idea would have been a very good thing. So over here, these are not quite the rooms I remember. I guess this is more than I haven't been locked in by a missile door. So this is pretty much the same here, except for the whole missile door thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's something else he added, which apparently only works in spots he wants it to work in. It's an auto-morph. So you jump up to a ledge like that, you hold jump, and you're holding the direction. You'll auto-morph into the uh, tunnel. And good lord, this waterfall is slow. But yeah, the automorph is to help out people who have trouble meter morphing, so that at least on specific ledges that Drew wants you to be able to, you'll be able to morph. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if there's a muck ball in here. But you'll be able to get in that tunnel without having to do any quick button presses because, you know, make it easier. Make it so Axio can play and not have troubles with it. Yeah, that's the morph thing that goes to Brinstar. But this looks like the missile shaft. The weird highlight on those tiles there. And there's our first missile. And following usual redesign silliness. Um, the missiles and orbs give you five missiles, as you can see. Um, a missile just out in the open will only give you two. And a missile... The floor show. A missile hidden in scenery gives you ten. So, I mean, that's kind of nice where, you know, a missile hidden in scenery, you know, is obviously far more hidden. So finding it gives you a greater reward. That part I do like. The whole out in the open thing only giving you. Thank you, Keeper. But only getting two missiles for being out in the open. I just gave a player five. I guess this was the schemer's his way of making sure you can farm to open up doors. That is something, actually, I will be looking at quite a bit. Because in the original redesign, 
you farmed a lot. I am really hoping that is toned down because farming, quite honestly, is just not a fun thing. And it's kind of like with the uh, morph ball thing being so slow in this. Like, why would you make things even slower? I like that. They're not breaking this game with the original morph ball speed, so why are you making this slower? I just don't. Like, this hack is already the largest hack there is, and it's... At least in the original, it's an absolute pain to get through and go anywhere, and it's going to take a while. So why are you making things take even longer? That's just... Yeah. And I'm going to apologize. Well, maybe I'm not going to apologize. But I will say in advance, you know, I am not going to be particularly easy on this hack. I am not exactly a fan of the original redesign. I always recommend people play it. You know, it's one of the more influential hacks. And for good reason, there's a lot of good stuff in it. But, you know, especially with the physics in it. You know, it's just not my kind of hack. It's so... it just feels so annoying and tedious in a lot of places. So I'm already not the biggest fan of the hack. So... I will try to point out good things when they happen. Where they're there. Like the hint system, for instance. But I'm... Also, that big energy just gave me 25, so that's actually a, a good thing. Yeah, this hack is... We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try to keep a more open mind about it. That's why I decided I'm going to follow a more... Oh. A block. That's why I'm going to follow a more linear path. Because... I don't... Want to deviate too much. Because then, you know, any issues I come up with or cross... Those are quite possibly my fault for deviating from the path or whatever. So by following the path, I plan on taking that out of it. Also, I do like the screes no longer take 20 minutes to kill with your beam. I don't know, the pirates still seem to take the same amount of shots. But i.e. a ridiculous amount of shots or such a weak and useless enemy of course you know part of that is Drew you know once players use missiles which that I can give them that you know if you want to make you know missiles more attractive to use make your enemies still be able to hit by beams so you know you can still pass through them whatever but if you want to go faster or whatever take care of them Use the missile and be done with it. So that reasoning, I there's nothing wrong with that at all. And another title card for Brinstar. That's nice. I like the title cards. And apparently, we have no hints on where to go, but I already know. So and actually, you know what? That's kind of nice. I got a message. All right. But with them. Um... What am I saying? Oh, yeah, with the hint thing. Derp. Going into a new area without a hint? That's actually kind of. Oh my goodness. Quote, stop. I'm playing redesign, go away. <laughs> but, um. That was brilliant. Without, let me get this out before anything else happens. Without the hints. Oh, great. Without the hints, when you first enter an area, you know, it kind of still leaves quite a bit of exploration up to the player. No, then that's not doing. So that's. Or maybe not quite a bit, but at least. 
there's an amount of exploration there that's not, you know, guided like um, Zero Mission. Where you know exactly all the time, this is where you need to go. So if you're new to the hack, you enter this area. It's like, I don't actually know where to go, so now I have to explore a little bit. And then maybe one of these things will pop up on the map. And that seems different. Is this the missile? No, this is water. Okay. This is this. Okay. Also, the map tiles are kind of nice. This gate is not. But yeah, those... map tiles... show door connections and stuff. I do like the door connections being shown. That's why... I'm still reworking the area maps in Fear because I redrew... or drew a bunch of new map tiles to make the uh, door transitions visible so you can see where doors are at least on most of them of course there's still secrets and stuff but but yeah I like that you know it helps the player look at a map especially in a larger hack I'll say even though it probably should be done for the smaller ones Also a save before Spospo. Interesting. You know, you could get yourself perma stuck in this. I just realized. <laughs> You'd have to be stupid, but you could do it. But with that blue gate, if you... Well, actually, it may not be a problem stuff. But with that gate, if none of those googly eyes respawn, you can shoot that gate, run underneath to the other side, and if you don't have enough missiles to open the door, you can't go back through the gate. So if none of the googly eyes respawn, and are able to go through the gate, then you're stuck in there with... And especially if you saved it, then you're really stuck. Although, actually, I'll take it back. If you save and reload, googly eyes will appear. You just have to hope you get the uh, drops off them to get your missiles. I'm pretty sure there's one that respawns in there, though, probably. Oh! I just noticed both doors are locked. That's new. I don't know why you would do that, but that's new. Of course, I normally fight Spore Spawn anyway, so... The first time, anyway. Okay, so we're coming up on wall jump boots, and... Wall jumping is actually supposed to be different in this. Oh, and we get a little thingy up there. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm kind of... Oh my goodness. That's things. So, we get our wall jump boots. And the map's over here. Um, okay. There we go. Um, wall jumping is... Much like the mid-air morphine. And you can still see the wall jump, barely. But much like the mid morphine, it is automatic. And apparently we got one going back to Criteria, because obviously bombs are the next stop. But for those who don't know, it's kind of telling you, go here now. So how the wall jumping works is you basically just spin jump and hold jump. And hold the direction against the wall, and as soon as you press the opposite direction, you don't have to press jump again, you just automatically kick off the wall. And you know, what 
quite honestly, I am liking that. I am liking that quite a bit, actually. I don't mind wall jumping normally, but I'm not going to complain about this. Oh my goodness, let us leave. Give me my missiles. And health. And no side hovers. But yeah, that wall jump thing. That's something that works. That's another physics change. That's good. Lettuce leaves are still deadly. Um, we're not getting charged yet, obviously, unless that isn't charged, but that would be kind of strange if you completely move that. Um, I believe there's an energy tank in this room. Unless this is one of the ones. Ouch. That he moved. And again, with that super door there. So, Spore Spawn, Defeat Spore Spawn, unlocks that gray door. It starts flashing. This now looks like a possible path. But in that room you just opened up, you are now blocked off by a super missile door. What in the world? Just put the super missile door where that great door cap was. Solves everything. You get it blocked off by supers, the player doesn't have to go needlessly exploring and wasting their time. Especially since there was no energy tank in there, so... And that is something... I... will also be looking at as the energy tank, because... And the original redesign energy was not easy to come by, or at least not very visible, so that is, oh my goodness, I have good aim. But yeah, being able to have enough energy, I certainly would hope this hack now gives you more energy tanks. That was a nice double KO. And I'm not going here. Okay. So back up to Criteria and I guess we can sort of head toward bombs though. I'll probably end up stopping it quite a bit before then. Because it's going to take a while to get there. And this video's already any longer. I'll probably do longer videos for this just because I know this is a large hack that's going to take a while. So I'll just make these longer, I guess. That way there's not 500 parts of this going up later. Okay, so something that still remains. Oh yeah, and now we're told, hey look, there's a door by your ship now. Um, but something that still remains from redesign with the wall jumping is while well, wall jumping is automatic and quite nice actually. It's still only where Drew wants you to wall jump. Which again goes into the sort of hole. And this is just something I sort of gathered while reading things in IRC or whatever, but check what this is. But I, it kind of seems that Drew has some sort of vendetta against anybody speedrunning his hack. Which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's not kind of, it is ridiculous. That may not be correct. I don't know. But it certainly comes across that way. So that sort of goes along with the, uh, you can wall jump and it's easier, but only where Drew wants you to be able to wall jump so you can't actually break anything. And by break, I mean sequence break, not just breaking the game. 
and something else. I will say this now. Um, and a super missile door. Here. Again, why do you have a missile door over there if you just have the super missile door here? That's just stupid. If you want to block the player off until they have supers, make that path just blocked off with supers in the first place. Like, it's the same one room after this. Oh, I guess I actually got to go through a whole room this time. But still, like, there's nothing there for me, so why? I, I don't. Whatever. Okay. So yeah, the thing I was going to mention before that, and apparently that triggered something somewhere. Anytime you see the screen shake like that, it's a trigger somewhere going off that's like setting new events, new room states, or whatever. Okay, but um, if you had any designs on going out of bounds in this hack, um, let me know how that goes. Actually, I don't because I already know how it goes. What Drew has done, if you go out of bounds, basically off screen from the scrolling, you just die. That's it. So to prevent sequence breaking or beating his hack with x-ray out of bounds stuff, now you just plain die. You can't do that. Which again, it's things like that that really kind of, you know, get to my mind that, you know, he really hates speedrunners. And he doesn't want you to enjoy the hack. So. Also, I wonder if I can get that ledge. Well, not like that. Eh, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to save and stop the video here it's I don't actually know what time it is in terms of actual length I just see a frame counter and it's longer than normal so anyway we'll stop here so thanks for watching and we will see you in the next part where we will collect bombs and do some more general exploration and who knows what else so we will see you for that